This is Ellie Perkins from Valentine's Detective Agency with a message for Nick's partner. We've got a new case and it sounds urgent. Stop by the office. I'll be waiting. Setting this to repeat. I'm glad you're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? Who's our client? A fisherman whose family lives on the edge of the Commonwealth. Kenji Nakano. Nakano? Huh. That name takes me back. Hmm. My memory's a little fuzzy on the details, though. Maybe if you bothered writing things down, Nick. Can't do that. Wouldn't want to put you out of a job. Huh. I'll remember that the next time you need me to console a hysterical client. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. I'll go check it out. Thanks, Ellie. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. It's a long walk. <laughs> That's how the hard cases always start. Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? What? Who are you? I'm sorry, but we don't have time for visitors or caravans or wherever you're from. I'm with Valentine's Detective Agency. You asked for help? Oh, thank God. You have to get working right away. So... What's the story with you and Nick? Ran with him on one of his cases a few years back, searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Things didn't end well. Nick's client double-crossed us once we had what he was looking for. I still have some lead lodged into my hip. But we got out. And now, my daughter's missing, and there's only one detective agency I know of in the Commonwealth. I'm here to help. Tell me what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I... think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No. She would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Let's talk money. Investigations for the missing aren't cheap. Of course. How does 350 cap sound? If she went far, that means travel expenses. We could make it 400. Don't hold out on me. You want to find your daughter, right? 500 caps. That's all we have. I'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Mrs. Nakano. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. I'd like to know more about Kasumi. Might shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more. 
All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really... talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. Tell me about this radio your daughter was working on. I remember Kasumi was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company, and Kenji can be... overprotective. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that... we've been fighting a lot more. All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really... talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but... Now I wonder what she was up to. You and your husband don't seem to agree about why your daughter left. <sighs> we both want to find her. The world out there isn't a place where you want to be alone. But Kenji still sees her swaddled in diapers. He doesn't see a young woman with her own decisions to make. Maybe because it's more frightening. She wasn't tricked into leaving without telling us. That was her choice. She didn't want us to follow. Why? Every detail is important. It's just that he was the... She started... Ugh. Nothing else right now. Mr. Nakano. Did you have questions? About my daughter? Anything more you could tell me about Kasumi? The smallest detail could be important. I don't know what more to say. She's my little girl, and she doesn't know how dangerous this world is. I never should have let her grandfather teach her how to fix these machines. Tell me more about this radio she was fixing. I've tried to get that damn thing to work over and over again. But there's nothing. I thought she just wanted to strip it for parts or build a toaster out of it, or something, like she usually does. Someone made contact with her, and then they took her. God, what kind of twisted psychopath has my daughter? Her grandfather? He taught her how to fix the radio? Ever since she was old enough to walk, yes. Her grandfather had an ear for machines. Kasumi picked up the knack. He passed away recently. He used to scavenge the ruins in the south for parts. I kept telling him he was getting too old. Why did your daughter really leave? Your wife said she left on her own, but... You said it was kidnappers? I know it was kidnappers. Kasumi is a smart girl, but she doesn't know how horrible people can be. Not like me and Ray. Why would she just leave her family with no explanation? Someone tricked her, got her to leave the safety of home. Every minute we aren't looking for my daughter, her life is in jeopardy. No more questions right now. Work quickly, detective. Project log, lamp. Yep, it's a lamp. Filament plus power equals light. I swear, sometimes I think my parents break these things just to keep me busy.
project blog, radio. Correction, working radio. I'll finally get some news outside this house. My handle is going to be... Let's go with... Ohm's Law. That should confuse the creeps. And if someone actually gets the reference, then we'll at least have circuitry in common. Project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... God. Where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal, from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synths. Synthetic people. Made by the Institute. They're trying to build a place for their kind, where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me, and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I... I'm going to go to meet these synths. I... I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. finished your investigation? Did you find anything? I need to ask you an important question. Are you sure your daughter's human? What kind of question is that? Why are you asking? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Are you sure she's human, Mrs. Nakano? Yes. I know my daughter, and she hasn't changed. She's not some replacement. This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. Did you find where Kasumi went, detective? I think Kasumi took off somewhere up north. Do you know what's up there? Where specifically? I've been up the coast, almost to where the waters start to freeze. But that's a lot of miles. I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor? She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. You have to go after her. 
Please, take my other ship on the dock outside. My father's design. It has a guidance system, and it is built for distance. What can I expect out there, Kenji? I only made the trip to Far Harbor once, when I was a boy. All I remember is that my father did not want to stay long. Something about the air being bad. I'll get to the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. And here, the payment we discussed. I'll have something more when Kasumi is safely back home.